Since 2012, the Hunger Games franchise has produced some of Hollywood's biggest stars, but it also featured a few we've since sadly lost. Selection as a Hunger Games tribute is an almost certain death sentence, but the job of head game maker has proved equally dangerous. Seneca Crane learns this firsthand at the end of the first Hunger Games film. Crane's death leaves an opening for Plutarch Heavensby to take on the role at the beginning of 2013's Catching Fire. Intelligent and manipulative, Plutarch is a character whose motives and allegiances are not what they initially appear. This is the revolution, and you are the Mockingjay. While his arc unfolds over the franchise's final three movies, Hoffman died during production on Mockingjay Part 2. The actor was found unresponsive in his West Village apartment in New York City on February 2, 2014. He was 46 years old at the time of his death, which was attributed to an accidental overdose brought on by mixing several narcotics. The Oscar winner, who was widely regarded as one of the finest actors of his generation, had dealt with addiction for some time and twice checked into rehab for drug and alcohol abuse. At the time of Hoffman's passing, an executive at Lionsgate told The Hollywood Reporter that the studio was distraught, but that the actor's death would have no impact on completing the films. The exec added, we feel it will be a good tribute to him. A character who only appears in Catching Fire, Mags Flanagan is the oldest tribute to compete in the quarter quell. And like Katniss Everdeen, she volunteers herself to save someone she loves. Mag's bravery, sacrifice, and ability to make fish hooks out of any material endear her to Katniss, and she becomes part of Katniss and Peeta's alliance in the games until her on-screen death. In reality, Cohen outlived her character by almost seven years, dying at the age of 86 on February 14, 2020. No cause of death was given at the time. Before her passing, Cohen had been an accomplished character actor, yet she didn't break into the film and TV world until 1982, when she was 59 years old. She was best known for her work on HBO's Sex and the City, in which she played Magda, Miranda Hobbs' housekeeper, she later played Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir in the 2005 Oscar-nominated film Munich. Cohen, who was a beloved member of New York City's theater scene, was survived by her husband, Ronald Theodore Cohen, her son Lawrence, and her two grandchildren. Moses J. Mosley didn't play a major part in the Hunger Games movie franchise. His role as a District 11 citizen was uncredited in the second film, Catching Fire. However, the former Walking Dead actor still made headlines when news of his death broke on February 2, 2022, exactly eight years after Philip Seymour Hoffman's passing. The 31-year-old South Carolina-born performer had been found dead on January 16, 2022, near a bridge in Stockbridge, Georgia. The cause of death was listed as a gunshot wound, and he was presumed to have died by suicide. Mosley's manager confirmed his passing in a statement that read, Moses was an amazing person, and if you had the opportunity to meet him, he would have made your day amazing. He was very talented. He was a great friend, the kind you could call for anything. Mosley made his film debut in a short release in 2009 and was best known for appearing in six episodes of The Walking Dead between 2012 and 2015. The show noted his passing on X, formerly known as Twitter, writing, Our thoughts and prayers are with our Walking Dead family member, Moses J. Mosley. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.